Hey everyone, Shane with ForcePoint. Today I want to demonstrate the power of the ForcePoint One platform to help ensure that users on unmanaged devices, a device not owned by the organization, can still access your SaaS applications, but data does not leak down to the device. So I'm going to go to a popular application, office.com. And again, this is coming from a device not managed, not owned by the organization. Could be an employee device. I'm sorry, an employee's personal device. Could be a contractor or an auditor. It's part of the promise of a SaaS application is users can connect from anywhere, any device. So again, this user is coming from a device not managed by the organization. So we're going to click sign in. Office is going to recognize that we're using an enterprise, app, enterprise account. It's going to kick us over to a single sign-on provider. At this point, for demonstration purposes, we're using Okta, but this will work with any SAML 2.0 IDP. At this point, when I click sign in, Okta is going to confirm the user may have multi-factor authentication. Normally, Okta will pass the session back to the IDP, so there's nothing in between the end user, the device, and the IDP. What Forcepoint One does without an agent is when we click sign in, we have Okta pass that information actually to Forcepoint One, so we can broker that connection between the end user, the device, and the SaaS application. So we'll click sign in. And if you'll notice up top, you're going to see different URLs. It's not going to go just to office.com, but it's actually going to go to portal.us.biglives.net. That's going through the Forcepoint One Trial Data Center. And then it's going to land on login or www.office-com.us.biglives.net. It's actually going through our trial data center, and we're doing a reverse proxy back to office.com. And again, we can do this for any application. So at this point, I can do anything within the office suite that I would like. I'm actually going to click on this document. I'm part of a, we'll just call it a mergers and acquisitions team. And I need to work on information for the company. So I'm landed within this document. Within this document, I can do any kind of editing I would like with multiple users, etc. But I don't want, or the organization doesn't want this employee or the contractor or auditor to download this information again to a device not owned by the organization. So the end user decides for whatever reason they would like to download this device. They're going to download a copy. That document's actually going to pass through the Forcepoint One product. We've got a built-in DLP engine that's going to recognize their sensitive information within that document, and it's going to stop that block, stop that download from actually occurring. You'll notice that we pop up a user window letting you know the sensitive content has been detected, and this information is configurable by the end user or the organization, including you can have a logo. But you will notice that we've got the option of opening a document, so something did download. So let's click OK. And what you're going to notice is that the document, we have replaced the content with information saying content blocked by security policy. Contact your system administrator if you have questions. And again, this is configurable by the organization. We'll click OK here. So very quickly, that was a demo showing you how the Forcepoint One product without an agent can get in between an end user device and a SaaS application to help protect your data from data leakage. Thank you. Mm -hmm.